Welcome back to KHK this morning. Lindsay Boach joins us now. Yep, she's in Hannibal this morning with the moment I've been waiting for. She's going to clean out her nasal passage. Yeah, she's gearing up, man. <laughs> Tie the hair back. Hey. Yeah, got the hair back. We are we're ready to do this. Uh, I again, I'm going to say I did do this before, so I know what it's going to feel like. I'm not that adventurous. I'm not going to do it for the first time on live TV. Uh, but sodium chloride and sodium bicarbonate mixed with a little bit of warm water in this neti pot. It's supposed to be about eight ounces. So you do four ounces on one side, four ounces on the other. Uh, I'm going to hand the mic over uh, to du uh, Dr. Justin Imhoff, who's going to explain a little bit about what I'm doing. So again, as she does this, she's going to kind of lean over the sink and uh, you want to get your forehead at about the level of your chin and then open the mouth slightly and then you want to insert the uh, end of the neti pot into one nostril and gently lift the neti pot to increase the flow of water, uh, saline solution, excuse me. And what's going to happen is that saline is going to fill up one side of her nose, go around the back of her nasal septum and out the other side and this is effectively washing those nasal passages and uh, uh, removing the pollen and debris and mucus or crusting that we uh, talked about earlier. And as you can see she's doing a good job now. You can increase the angle of that neti pot or decrease it to control the rate of flow, whatever is comfortable for you. <laughs> and then what you want to do is uh, get a little Kleenex or a paper towel and Kind of just lightly blow the nose out. Now, so how was that? <laughs> Feel better? <laughs> now you have to keep your mouth open. Uh, yep. Why is that so important? Well, because that's how you're going to breathe when the water is in the nose. And uh, also, you know, some saline may come out uh, of the mouth, go down around the back of the nose and come out the mouth. It's okay. It's not going to be harmful if you swallow it, but it can make you a little sick to your stomach. And it's important to do both sides. You do one side and then the other. Yeah, it's good to, you know, get symmetry on that. Essentially, when uh, it is filling up one nasal cavity, it will come out the other side. Uh, but switching sides, as she's doing now, is, is a good idea to get a good thorough uh, uh, wash on both sides. Now, you do this for allergies and sinuses? Yeah, it's good for uh, allergy sufferers and people with chronic sinus disease. Again, it's going to help thin and uh, remove some of the mucus, bacteria, um, or pollen debris that is inside the nose. The nose is really the filter for our airway as we breathe in uh, through the nose throughout the day and night. Ugh. All right, that's enough. <laughs> okay. So are there, are there things that you should be looking for, um, maybe things that are not ordinary? Um, you know, if it's causing you any discomfort or anything like that, you know, obviously stop or consult your physician. Uh, if you're having any bloody discharge or um, thick pieces of mucus, it would be a good idea to talk to your doctor about that as well, and it may require a little bit more of an extensive evaluation. Is it okay to suck it? I mean, if I have a little in there, is it okay to kind of suck sniff it back, it back in? Yes, yeah, that, that's fine. It's not going to be harmful for you. All right. Thank you very much. There you go. Neti pot done on live TV for you. Um, kind of gross, but uh, we talked a lot about sinuses, and if you missed any of it, I'll throw it up on our YouTube page uh, later on today. Uh, maybe you get a million hits and make some money. I don't know how big maybe. your TV is at home or where you sit. This is about a 55-inch screen, and we're feet in front of it. Mm -hmm. That was good TV. Yes. Ugh. Right in our face.